Hi guys, welcome to my plan with me in the American Graphs Horizontal Weekly Monthly Planner. And I was just showing you the month, so that was the month of January. And I'm going to be using the sticker books for American Crafts. I've got Heidi Swap, Paige Evans, Dear Lizzie, Vicki Booten, Amy Tangerine, and One Canoe Two. So lots to choose from, and these are such a good value because you get 30 full sheets, like between 1,500 and 2,000 stickers. There's a sample of some of the sheets on the back, so I'm just showing you that. You guys can pause it if you would like to see the backs of some of these. So I'm going to decide which sticker book I want to use. I'm looking at the back to see the color scheme. So again, you can pause it if you would like to see the backs, but it doesn't show all the sheets in the sticker book. So I decide that I'm going to go with Paige Evans because like I'm showing you here, this is my monthly spread and I use the Paige Evans sticker book on that one. So I'm going to decide which set, and aren't those box stickers gorgeous? I just love those. I'm going to decide which color scheme I want to go, go with. Well, the, the easy thing is the color scheme is kind of already decided, so that's, you can just grab them and stick them. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh. So I, I decide as I'm flipping through that I love this page, and I'm going to use the Fresh Start sticker for January 1st. And I'll finally decide to put it at the top of Monday there. There we go, stick it down, Leanne. <laughs> and then I'm going to place two more stickers, so I'll have three across, spread across the whole weekly spread in a triangle. So I'll have the three circles there. And I'm going to denote, uh, just go for it here on Friday. I love that you can just grab one one, two sticker books and do your whole weekly spread. And everything's coordinated and the different patterns are there for you. So what I realized is that box sticker that I just placed on the day for Monday is too large. So all I have to do is measure and cut it to fit. So I'll cut it to one and a quarter. And I'm just measuring here and then I'll make a mark with my pen, not on the actual sticker, but to the side of it so that I can just cut this with an X-Acto knife and then it'll fit on this horizontal layout. So what I decide is I don't want to have a box sticker on the right of every day because my circle sticker is up there on the right for Friday. So I'll just vary the placement. And here I'm going to cut this with the X-Acto knife. I kind of move back on screen there so that you can see it. And these are really easy to trim with your knife. And I'll just use the knife to place it because that gives me just a more accurate way to put it on the page. So here I'm just going to try to get it even and using the knife to place it on there. Looks good. So now I'll decide which other patterns I want to use and I'll just measure them and continue on. I really love that floral. So I'll end up just using the markings on this graph ruler. It's easy to keep it straight because you can just see the lines. So I'll use my knife as a pickup tool as well just to hold it and try to get it straight.
Okay, I've got that little cute adorable banner on that says Coolio. <laughs> and I'm pointing to the stamped fireworks. They kind of look like fireworks. So I like having something at the top left of the page. And I wish you could see the bottom right where it says weekly inspiration because I'll do some hand lettering there. So the purpose of this planner is my home and family planner and I like to use the 8.5 by 11 size for journaling about what photos I take during the week because if you do project life it's easy to forget like what did we do? Like why do I have a photo of this ice cream? You know so for me it just makes sense and it helps me realize my blessings more if I'll write down the photos that I took and journal about what happened that day or something I'm grateful for that day. Just some positive aspects of the day. So for each day, and you'll notice here once I start writing, that I've got a little key, kind of like bullet journaling. So I put in a, oh I'll explain that in a minute. Anyway, squirrel. Uh, so I put down an important sticker and I'm writing that I need to pick my daughter up at the airport because that's important <laughs> and then so I'm going to go over here and start writing the photos I have for each day so the reason I love this horizontal planner is because it, you can write out quite a bit so I can explain the photo, what we were doing, what was said just a little bit of context so it does, doesn't say like photo of my hands you know what I mean like we're going to explain the photo and what we were doing and what was said and just kind of memory keeping. So I this is my memory keeping planner but I'm not using it as in I'm putting photos in it. I'm just recording what some journaling and some photos. So there I just wrote on the left under notes I put a little P and circled it. So that's a phone photo and then a C with a circle is a camera photo. So that way each week I have a list if I want to go back and do weekly project life spreads or I want to do monthly project life spreads then it's really easy for me to catch up. Super easy if I've got this in a, in a planner. And it's pretty too. And I love that the stickers are, there's affirmations, there's positive, you know, it just, it's really nice. And I noticed when I don't do this, when I don't do this weekly, I really get just a little bit distracted and, and more maybe thinking of bad or things, events that are going out on in my life. So if I'll write these down, then I'm more focused on the positives. So I really like that. So I'm just showing you here on each day I'm writing the photos. And I mean, I'm like you guys, I can take like 10, 20 photos in a day. So it's good to have lots of lines. <laughs> So I'll bring my phone. I don't know if my phone is in the shot here, but I do have my phone so I can go through and see what photos I took each day. And then I go through the Heidi Swap sticker book here, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she has the perfect little stickers. Like, there's a little shopping bag. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm going to slap that little shopping bag sticker on Friday because I went to Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Target and Sprouts, so that's perfect. Because that can, uh, I often take photos at those places too, so that can be a reminder. Hey, you went shopping today. <laughs> a reminder. And, oh my goodness, look at the little airplane. So, totally have to put the airplane on the day I pick my daughter up at the airport, of course. So, I'm deciding what color. I'll use the aqua one. I mean, these are perfect. So, I love that the colors in the Heidi Swap sticker book and the Paige Evans sticker book really coordinate well. So I'm like, yay! And then I'm looking for either a little movie camera or a photo a camera. Camera? <laughs> a photo camera. What oh, other kind of camera is there? <laughs> I guess there's a video camera. Okay, so I get sidetracked. Oh, look at all these yummy stickers. Okay. And then I find, look, there's a little shopping cart, oh my gosh, and there's a little clock. I'm like, I could use that for videos. I wanted to denote what videos I took as well. So that kind of is in the same vein there, videos and photos. Just anything that records memories. There are so many sheets in here. Oh, there's another little airplane. Oh. And I think I found the camera. 
and it's a silver camera and I love that. I love the little metallic and the foil. So they have clear stickers, they have foil stickers, they have colored stickers, and I like that these don't have a white border so you can see these. They look really good on the planner pages. And I just have to talk about the the paper in these. Like if you guys notice, I'm I'm writing with a pigment ink pen doesn't go through to the next page and also when I get out my big fat juicy dye ink marker for brush lettering that didn't go through the page at all either so I'm like oh and look at this little hello weekend sticker from Heidi that is super cute that has to go over there by the other circle perf that's perfect okay so now I'm deciding how I want to do the rest like any more fun cute stickers can I can add and I also like to do stamping but this uh, layout I don't do any stamping on camera so then I'm just going through here and seeing what other stickers I can add these are I think they in the planning world they call these functional stickers so I'm just pointing to the little camera and saying hey this is uh, cute because it reminds me of all the photos so I'm gonna get another one of the rose gold clear back stickers here with the brush lettering on it. And I'm trying to decide where should I put it because I kind of want to balance it with that big note to self relax sticker on the top right. So I decide to put it on the bottom left. Sorry my dog's sneezing. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear that. So okay so now that I have all of the photos written in I have room to add a little bit of hand lettering, so I hand lettered restoration goals and this day I wanted to write peace. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me. Here's some stills of the monthly and the weekly spread finished with my hand lettering.